Understanding Cruel Punishment in English. Hello and welcome, dear learners. Today, we're diving into the concept of cruel punishment. This phrase often appears in legal, social, and ethical discussions. Understanding its nuances is crucial not just for language proficiency, but also for grasping the values and legal principles in English-speaking societies. So, let's embark on this learning journey together. Cruel punishment refers to a penalty that is considered excessively harsh, unnecessary, or inhumane. The term is subjective and can vary greatly based on cultural norms, legal standards, and individual perceptions. It's often discussed in the context of legal systems, especially concerning the ethics of sentencing and prison conditions. Historically, many societies have employed what modern standards would consider cruel punishments, such as public executions or torture. Today, the term is closely tied to discussions about human rights and legal reforms. For instance, debates about the death penalty, solitary confinement, or physical punishments in schools often revolve around whether these practices constitute cruel punishment. The term is notably present in legal documents like the Eighth Amendment of the United States Constitution, which prohibits cruel and unusual punishments. This illustrates how the concept is not just a linguistic or moral issue but also a legal guideline that shapes justice systems. To fully grasp the concept, consider examples from legal cases, literature, or historical accounts. For instance, a legal case where a minor theft results in a life sentence might be debated as an instance of cruel punishment due to the harshness compared to the crime. Today, we've uncovered the layers of meaning behind cruel punishment. It's a phrase that encapsulates legal principles, ethical debates, and societal values. As you continue your English language journey, remember that such phrases offer more than just definitions. They open windows into the culture and values of English-speaking societies. Keep exploring, and see you in the next video.